Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Today, I want to talk about two radial filters that you should consider adding to every portrait you do. Now, technically, we're going to add three radial filters because the first radial filter I'm going to talk about is a radial filter for a person's eyes. And often in portraits, both eyes are showing. So we're actually going to add two of the same radial filter. That's the first radial filter I want to talk about. We're going to work on this photo of my youngest son, Joe. Now, I'm going to open up the radial filter. And what I like to do, this is optional, I like to have op uh, exposure all the way down when I apply a radial filter. It kind of helps me see exactly where I'm putting the filter. And I just use it to make sure the filter is exactly where I want it to be. Now, I already have the radial filter tool open, but I've now decided I want to zoom in on the image. All I need to do is hold in the space bar key on my keyboard and then click with the left mouse button and I could zoom in. Now I have exposure all the way down. That's just going to help me apply the radial filter. We'll put it over Joe's right eye. So I'm going to click and draw out. Now you can see it's making everywhere outside of the radial filter dark. It's the opposite of what I need. So what I need to do is click on this little invert. Uh, check box there and you can see that we've applied the filter and it's given them these really kind of black looking eye but that just helps me make sure that I applied that filter exactly where I want it to be now I'll reset exposure by double clicking on the word exposure now we could apply the filter typically what you're going to want to do to a person's eyes is brighten them up a bit now Joe has very bright blue eyes as it is so I don't have to uh, add too much exposure to them just a little bit to brighten it up you don't want to go too much you don't want to give them like you know cat eyes or anything like that so we'll just in, jo in joe's case very little and someone has darker brown eyes for example you're probably going to have to turn exposure up considerably more maybe you want to add a little contrast uh, maybe uh come down and add some texture to his eyes you don't want to go too much again you don't want them to look like marbles I've already overdone it, by the way, on this one. Now, right now you can see that when I have my cursor off the image, there's no overlay on his eyes. And when I bring the cursor over the image, the overlay appears. That's because over here, you could see show edit pins. I have it set to auto. You could have it set to always, selected, or never. I would suggest you use one of the first two, auto or always, and I have it set to auto. Now, with that said, uh, you could see that that it's kind of making the bottom of his eye a little white. I don't like that. So I'm going to just kind of shrink it down just a little bit like that. And I think that looks pretty cool. Now we could come in and add some sharpness to sharpen his eyes a little bit. And again, I think I'm really overdoing it on his eyes because his eyes were so bright already. I probably didn't need this filter or this radio filter for his eyes, but I want to demo it. Now we need to take this exact filter and put it over the other eye. To do that, just right click right on the filter, click duplicate, then just click it and drag it over there. Now we have two filters, one for each eye. There's that one and there's that one and they have the exact same settings. So we've accomplished our first radial filter. We've brightened up and added some texture and sharpness to Joe's eyes, a little bit of contrast too. So. I want to zoom back out. I'm going to hold in the space bar and click again to zoom out. Now this second radial filter or third, if you want to be technical, is to brighten up a person's face. To me, this is the most important radial filter for a person. When you're photographing anyone, you have a portrait, lifestyle shot, anything, brighten up their face. You'll be surprised how much better this will make your image look. Now again, um, what I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to click on new. So we're getting a new radial filter. I'm going to hold in the, the option key on my Mac, alt key on a PC and click on reset. Alter, alternatively, I could just double click on the word preset. So if you want to reset something, just double click and you'll reset it. Now again, I'm going to turn exposure all the way down. Now remember, we have to click that invert. So I'll do that now. And I want this one to be over his face. And again, I have it dark on purpose. Just kind of helps me see it a little better. And we just want to brighten up his face. So we're going to bring it in a little bit. You can see I have feathering. We could adjust the feathering here to make it less feathered. 
depending on your situation, you may want to do that. Move it around a little bit. Now you notice when I grab a handle, like if I grab this top handle and I move it in, it's moving the bottom handle in at the same time. If you want to just move one and not the other, hold in the Alter Option key and then you'll just move one. You can see that. So same thing on the sides. If I just click and drag, it's moving both sides. Hold in the Alt Option key and you'll just move one side. Little tip on how to use this filter. All right, I'm going to reset exposure by double clicking on it. And I mentioned you just want to brighten up the face a little bit. Just brighten it up. That's all. Sometimes as much as a stop, sometimes usually it's more like half a stop. In this case, we'll go with three quarters of a stop. And you can see there's our before the radio filters and after the radio filters. Before the radio filters and after. In my opinion, radio filters are very important when you're processing a portrait, and I would encourage you to consider using them. I think it will really help you make your portraits pop. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.